and we are back welcome back to the channel my name is lag and this is sons of the forest we have got our first big update to sons of the forest they added all kinds of stuff and for now let's go over the stuff that you could do around your base that you couldn't before so if you have a stick you can go up to your door now and you can place it and you can lock your door so see walking into it so that way the cannibals can't just come through your door i'm pretty sure hopefully this works you can pick up aha yeah you can p pick up place items and just put them down somewhere else so that's neat i think most crafting survival games should have this feature that's awesome and i could use a bite to eat which brings me to the next thing they updated the fish traps actually work as long as it's not winter time you can pull fish right out of the trap oh they're so good off the fire and for all the builders out there they did add the correct pieces for the apex the triangle shapes for your roof so that works now all you have to do is take a whole log place it in there keep placing whole logs and it'll just cut it diagonally as you go up on its own and you may have noticed i took the time to go ahead and build a perimeter wall a defensive wall around the base because during the winter time as you saw in the last episode the lake freezes and then the stupid cannibals could just come over here but one thing they added that they didn't have before let me pull this off if you just take a whole log walk up to a flat part on the wall it won't work on these curved areas but just a flat part uh, it'll show you the outline and you can just plop that down and you now have the working gate so i put these around uh all four sides so that way during the winter time we can just walk out the gate onto the ice if we need to so you got the door locks you got the defensive gates you got the apex roof pieces and the fish trap is working so that's pretty much everything with the build stuff but they added some other things to the game that are pretty cool they've got a pair of binoculars on the map somewhere so we'll try to find those eventually they added additional story elements so we'll get a little more lore and figure out what's going on probably like magazine articles and things like that where we can kind of piece together the story ourselves they also added a mini boss fight i uh, don't know the details of that uh because i'm trying to avoid spoilers for the game but yeah mini boss fight oh god i hit my head they added an outfit for virginia and i actually found that outfit very easily we're gonna go get it right now and they added a hang glider and i know where that is so we're gonna go get that too meanwhile kelvin has found himself in quite the predicament oh actually it looks like he got out he was trapped underwater he was just walking around underwater and couldn't get out but it looks like he has got himself free good job kelvin you did it i was about to show everybody what an idiot you are you know what kelvin i'm tired of you looking better than me let me give you a different outfit Why you put this on great you look ridiculous that's better <laughs> now you can be my butler for real okay yeah so as you can see i've cleared out all of these trees here when i was making that defensive gate and was just zip lighting them over i started to run out of trees i was going back really far so i built this rope bridge here which is pretty cool unfortunately you can't make it go very far uh it could probably go another i don't know another 15 20 feet uh but then it's just like nope we can't make any so i can't make one long enough to reach my island plus kelvin and virginia refuse to use the thing they go all the way around so i don't think the npcs can come across this which also means the cannibals probably can't come across it either but it looks cool when i started making the defensive wall it was still winter so i was chopping down these trees and just walking the logs over but it quickly thawed out so i had to change course of action but yeah right above this ridge here there's a helicopter crash let's go check it out came right up here to get a log that had fallen this way and here it is so i this must be the bravo team helicopter let's see what's in the boxes oh a target give me that printer ink yeah target we'll put that on a tree back at base we could practice with my bow and arrow more printer stuff and we got an energy bar we got another case here grenade c4 inside of the helicopter you can see everybody burned to death in here and we have got an outfit leather suit collected where is virginia she's on the other side of the lake i'm gonna go over there and get this leather suit on her i think it's for her take this yeah it looks pretty cool look at you career woman with three legs still I like how the outfits are torn where her third leg is that's great i don't want any of those same for yourself 
All right, if you look at my GPS, there is my helicopter crash all the way up there. Right next to it is a cave I never checked. So I'm gonna go up there and check that, hello. Oh God, Kelvin, you're getting beat to death. This is not good. Honey, use that gun. There you go. I'll stand behind you. Get him. No, no, no. keep shooting. Yeah, oh, he's nice, you got him in the face. You got him. I think he's done. Job. Kelvin, you okay, bud? Get up. Oh, a skin purse. Anywho, back to what I was saying. We'll go up there to that cave next to the helicopter crash, and then pretty close by it is the hang glider. So we'll check all that stuff out while we're up there. Let's go. It's gonna be a long trip. Look in the background. You see that mountain? That's where we're going. We'll probably find some adventure along the way, get stuck in a cave for the next hour, and not do anything that I just mentioned that we were gonna do. Ah, we're getting close now. Up the river I go. Haven't run into any cannibals yet. It's been nice and quiet since we left the house. That being said, I also haven't seen any like cannibal camps or any points of interest. Just been a nice walk through nature. And sometimes you need that. I found a cannibal. Was hiding in some leaves, jumped out at me. Hey, take it dang easy right now. There we go, we got, oh God. They come hard. I hate these guys because they're actually hard to hit. There we go. Stay down. Yeah, she's dead. Next one. We're next. Uh huh? Uh huh? Get my arrows back. Just another day on the island known as Site Number Two. Cannibals, mutants, the loudest waterfall you've ever heard in your life. You know, stuff like that. Okay, my helicopter crash is right up here on this ridge. We just gotta get up there. Maybe I can get up this way. I'm hoping. Come on, it's pretty steep. I got it. Yep, there we go. A cave I wanted to go to is straight, straight in front of me in this direction. Should be real close to it. Well, this is the helicopter crash. The cave is uh, up there, maybe? Maybe. I don't really need anything from the helicopter crash. This is our helicopter crash. Whoa, holy fish. Found them all. Found all of the fish in the game. Here they are. The salmon swam upstream. That's what they did. Now they're making babies. Wow, that is so many. A bunny rabbit. Oh, I got it. I feel terrible now. That poor thing squeaked. Oh. Uh, can, oh are you still alive? That's even worse. Let me get your pelt. Oh, you don't get pelts from rabbits, huh? Okay. We got some rabbit meat, though. Yeah, the loot respawns in this game, so after you save, you can go back anywhere that you've already been and just... Get some more loot. I don't know if that's gonna change or not. Kinda hope it doesn't, because it's nice getting ammo back for my shotgun and stun gun and pistol, whenever I want some. But it's also kind of a joke, you know what I mean? It's kind of a joke that you can do this. All right, if I'm not mistaken, this cave should be right over here. Man, yeah, we were so close to uh, a cave when I first spawned in the game. Would have been kind of cool to come check this out. Frozen? Yeah, frozen. Right, stay strong, ice. Stay strong. Oh, you know what would be cool if you could see like a cannibal frozen under the ice? That would be real cool. All right, we got some vodka here from Molotovs. We got some more canned dang food. I still can't open them. Hey, what do we got here? Rope, okay, that's good. More rags, rags and ropes, baby. You'll never hear me complain about it. Stoke the, oh my God, a can opener. Oh, baby, got it. Can you save here? Yeah. You mean to tell me I can eat? You know how many canned food I have saved back at the house? I've got quite a bit. So this is awesome. We put the can opener on there and the can on there, and then we open it up. <laughs> that was gross, man. It's just gelatinous cat food. I'm eating it. Can't stop me. That reminded me of the cranberry sauce for Thanksgiving. Americans, you know what I'm saying. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Got another tent over here, but with nothing in it. And then we've got a uh, cave here. Let's go inside. Uh-oh, dead person. Not good. This is kind of interesting. So this cave is... Uh, just walk right on in. You don't have to hit E to come in this one. So this is not going to be a big cave. Yeah, it's small. The ones you have to hit E to enter, it's because it's loading in the dead cave, right? It's like a load screen, basically. This, we just kind of waltz right on in, so I wasn't expecting much in here, but it looks like we're gonna get some loot all the same. I will take it. 
pretty much out of vodka bottles. Oh, did I get a battery? Because, yeah, I got charged back on my stun. Nice, I picked up a battery somewhere. Now, it looks like that is it. So, any additional story items in here? Because this would be a good time for one of these guys to be holding, like, a note saying something about... We ran inside of this cave trying to escape a giant cannibal. He stood outside, knowing he couldn't get in because he was so big. We weren't ready to stay here the whole winter. Try as we might, we starved to death. I fear this is my last note I'll be able to write. Tell Maggie I love her. All right, if I find Maggie, I'll tell her you love her. Cannibal. Chased him in this cave, but it was so big I couldn't even fit in. That's a huge cannibal. Wow, cool story. So we're at the helicopter crash up here now, and if we just kind of look over there, that ledge that's sticking out, pretty sure that's where we're going to find the hang glider, so let's make our way over there now. Like a mountain goat. I'll never fall off this mountain. Look at me. Look at me go. Oh, dang, it's getting kind of late in the day. It's three in the afternoon. Won't be long till nightfall. We gotta get this thing and get home. I believe we are here. Oh, we got a couple of tents set up here. Save and sleep right here, actually, if it does get dark. No loot. Yeah, nothing around here. Just a couple of tents. Right? I think if we come right over here. Yeah, there it is. The hang glider. Oh, my God. That's cool. Now, in the forest, if you haven't played the forest, you actually have to craft the hang glider yourself using cannibal parts and skin and stuff. I don't know why they're just giving us one. Plus, in the forest, you actually used it as one of many ways you could get down into a giant hole that was on that island. I don't really know what the purpose of this thing is on this map, but hey, I'll use it. All we gotta do is come up and press E. Now it's on us. So you cannot store this in your backpack. And it can't be tracked on the map. So if you lose it, I don't know what you're supposed to do. You better find it, okay? And then I think all you actually have to do is just kind of walk off the edge. And it should work on its own. It's not working. Yes, it is. Okay. And then up and down. And look at this. Look at us go. We can fly all the way home. Where is home? Now, this is nice. So, yeah. Again, once we get home, uh, we'd have to, like, walk it back up to the top of the mountain to use it again. So we'd have to make probably a series of zip lines taking us all the way from the lake to the top of the mountain. And that's where we would use this thing at. I don't know. I don't even know if you can zip line with this on you. I guess that's something we'll test when we get home. Coming in hot! Woo! Yeah, it's pretty easy to fly though. I like that. And then yeah, there's our lake over here. This is where we live. Coming up. Do a little flyover. Yeah, there's home. There's my rope bridge. Calvin and Virginia would be so impressed right now. Let's see if we can find them. They're around here somewhere. Calvin! Look at me! Look what I'm doing, Calvin! Alright, I don't know how to slow this thing down, so I'm just gonna keep doing laps and going a little lower every lap. And then we're just gonna crash land right into the log cabin. That's the plan. Alright, here we go. Here we go. We're coming in hot. Real hot. Oh, good. Nice. Perfect. Perfect. I did want to see if we can actually zip line with this on us. Um, doesn't look like it's on me, but let's see what happens when we land. No, it kicked it off of me, didn't it? Dang it. So even uh, like a series of zip lines to get it back up to the mountain is not going to work. Actually, did I forever lose it? Where'd it go? Yeah, it's here. Okay. So I'd have to walk... <laughs> I'd have to walk up to the mountain like this each time I want to use it. Unless I build a big tower right here, which I could do. Then if I want to get into a fight with a cannibal, I actually have to throw it off of me and then fight whoever's around me. Got it. Wow. Well, you know, the game's in early access. I'm sure they'll improve on this a little bit. At least give us the option to track it on our mini-map. That would be a good start. I don't want to put it right there. Yeah, that'll work <laughs> for now. Perfect! Let's not let this rabbit go to waste. We'll throw it in there. Rabbit's done. I also made this uh, little tree platform over here. This is not new with the update. I just wanted to see if this tree would actually let me put one in it. And this could come in handy during the winter months when the lake does freeze and I'm under attack. I could probably get up here and uh, use my bow and arrow if they're attacking on this side. Anyways, what if I wanted to take the hang glider, climb up this rope? Is there any chance that's going to work? It's probably a big no. Yep, that's a big fat no. Dang it. So I would have to do a tower with a staircase. 
to launch that down here. Oh, the aloe plant's grown. That's good. Let's go inside. Check this out. So I got my food shelf here. As I was telling you, I've been storing these cans. I've got cans. I've got food all over the place. And then over here is more like weapons and armor. So yeah, I've got a couple grenades stored and some, some time bombs. I got bone armor, mutant armor, molotovs, some more time bombs, and some rope down there. And so I'm not tempted. I'll throw this extra grenade I just got down on the, on the shelf as well. We'll use that next time we go into like a serious cave. Maybe I'll offload some of this rope too so I can pick up a couple when I'm out in the wild. But for now, we turn in. It's bedtime. Let's take a fish for the road. A couple of road fishes. Get some water out of my fishing hole here. I purposely built the gate out a little bit so I can have this water on this side of the fence so I can put a place for my fish trap, but also for some easy water to drink. And I probably want to take uh, this bone armor with me. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, almost a full set. Uh oh, looks like it's fall. You see these leaves all over my inventory bag here? It means winter's coming again. Dang it. All right, I got some bone armor on. If you look at the map here, straight in front of me, there's a flashing circle, which I believe indicates bunkers. I'm starting to get the hang of this. And I went ahead and set up a little camp there so I could save before we go in. But I think there's a bunker there. I've got armor on, so we should be fine. I got a few weapons. Let's go check out this bunker. We'll have to dig it up, I think, because it's a dirt pile. They got a cannibal camp, and they know I'm here. Well, boys, let's go. Yeah, first one's down. That was easy. Not wearing any armor. That's your first mistake. Oh, you got a little boat armor on. Okay. Not on your head, though. I think he's going to get up. No, he's not. No, he's not. You want some? Should have thought about it first. Should learn bow and arrows, guys. You're pretty terrible at combat. You just walk right now. Oh, my God. Right, oh, right on cue, huh, guy? Smart ass. Yeah, there you go. That'll teach you. I got a new headshot animation for these guys. Uh, that's the old one. Let's see if I can get this one to do it. Show me your head. Yeah, that was it. Just jerked his head around into like a circular motion. That's pretty cool. Thanks for playing, gang. You all did terrible. Okay, what I'm looking for should be right across this river. Not too far now. Fortunately, the river, as you can see, is a great place for these cannibals to come hang out. So let's just hopefully get across it without that dude seeing me. He doesn't call his buddies, so I don't feel like fighting. Uh, we're coming up on it now. Great. There's so many cannibals here. Might be a job for the shotgun. Make quick work of these guys. Well, looks like they might be leaving. Let's give them a second. Don't have to do anything at all. Just wait it out. They're leaving. Hopefully they didn't go just to get water and are coming right back. I guess we'll find out in a minute. Well, yeah, here's the site. It's got some surveying equipment and this golf cart here. Like, these are the things that people survey land with. One there and there's one. Okay, yep, they, they know I'm here. Well, we're going to have to blast them with a shotgun. Here's a little camp I set up. Oh, yeah, here's one. Look at this guy. Nope. Huh? You like that? Now run off and think about what you just did. Scaring people like that. You gonna bleed to death? You deserve it. Come look what I did. I see you in the woods. Come over here and check it out. Yeah, you wanna check it out? Look, watch. Nope. Now you're missing a leg. I shot your leg off. Yeah. Well, this is what happens when you run at somebody who's got a shotgun. Alright, bringing a knife to a gunfight stupid. Did it to yourself. Oh, hey, you too, huh? Nope. Don't think so. Your entire head came off. All right, has everybody learned a lesson in this forest now? I'm the one with the shotgun. Your sticks, your clubs. Oh, hey, Kelvin. They're, they're not going to do anything. Knock it off. I'm here to dig a hole. Kelvin, what are you doing? What did you just pick up? Did you just pick up a piece of his leg? Don't put that in your mouth. Kelvin. You are losing it, my man. And right here's the dig spot. Let's get to work. Kelvin, I'd tell you to watch my back, but you really don't do anything but gather stuff. You're not a fighter, and that's okay. Virginia was here. She'd watch my back. Maybe she'll show up. Well, yeah, I'm starting to see something. 
I don't know what I'm seeing yet, but it's probably uh, a hatch into a bunker. It's got to be, right? Again, I am pretty sure any flashing circle on the map means bunker. Even if you have to go into a cave to get to it, ultimately there'll be a bunker. That's been my experience with the other two we have found so far. They really make you work for it. You gotta dig out the whole thing, apparently. Oh, someone's coming at me. Who is it? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nope. Oh, that's Kelvin. Shit. Oh, Kelvin, I'm sorry. I thought you were one of them. He was right next to you. You were standing next to him. I thought you guys were together. I'm so sorry. You're gonna be all right, okay? Don't tell anybody about that when we get back, okay? Nobody. I'm supposed to be part of an elite unit. Oh, looks like I can go in now. Let's go in. Kelvin, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go check out what's in here. It's maintenance A is what it is, Kelvin. There we go. Oh, this looks scary. All right, wish me luck, Kelvin. If you hear me scream, I want you to come down here and save me. Okay. I hear a radio in the distance. Some uh, computer chips. A printer resin. Energy bar. Dead person with... 9mm ammo? Yeah. Roomba. Yeah, just another bunker. Places are usually pretty helpful and not too scary at all. Where if I've got a battery in my flashlight? Nope. I see like a silhouette of something up ahead. We might not be alone in this bunker. I am pretty sure we're going to have some mutants up ahead. But sorry, right, I got my gun ready. Well, look, there's like a whole room here. Oh, it's, is it babies? Yeah, it's just some little babies. Probably not worth wasting my ammo on them. Let's use the stun baton and just beat the crap out of them. Baby bashing! Here we go! Yeah! You miserable little mutants! You done? Nope, you're never done. You're never done. You're done. How about you? There you go! Little shit! All right. Clear? Yeah, we're clear. Oh, God dang it. Was that you? Oh, there you are. Oh, my God. You're getting stunned. Come here. Nah, oh, he's dead. I got him. Good God. What's on the shelves in here? Nothing. Got some big generators here. Printer resin. Maybe there's a printer in here. That's what I'm hoping for. Oh, no way, a new axe! Firefighter axe collected. So its speed is really slow, but look at the damage and block. Really, really good. If I'm not mistaken, we just found our new melee weapon. Yeah. What else we got around this dump? Because it just works, the new automatic drill will take your project to the next level. Why? Because it just works. <laughs> Advertisements. All right, let's check out this room. What is this? It's bizarre. Got some meat in the fridge. I'll take that. Got some cereal on the counter. Right? Oh, there is a 3D print. No, it's a regular computer. Hey, some lore story. Hey, is that a, wait a minute. Grammy noodles, there it is, laser sight. What does the laser sight go on? Okay, laser sight plus pistol? Yeah! Oh, baby! There we go. Excuse me, mutant. You looking at me? Boom! Laser sight. Oh, there is a 3D printer! Yes, yes, yes! Alright, but check this out. A note, some lore, maybe a little bit of the story. Where's that damn radio at? Ruining it! Oh, a record. Oh, it's this. Are you doing this? Shut up. I can't make it stop. Bad pivot, squeaky shoes. That's what I found? All right, that's the record I found. Can't do anything with it. But uh, it's a collectible and I've got it. I'll just try to enjoy the music in the background while I set the tone with some lore. Attention all. Team, this afternoon it was discovered that a painting from Mr. Puffton's personal collection has gone missing. 
anyone has any information, please talk to me directly. Hank. Mr. Puffton's painting is missing, huh? Leave, I may have found it. Look at that. That's some crazy armor there and a katana and a head of a cannibal. Was Mr. Puffton in that armor? Killing cannibals? Yeah, that's definitely his painting. Found it. All right, but we do have a 3D printer. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, I found a key card. Oh, baby. Carl Planter was this guy's name. Yeah, he stole that painting. We've got a key card. Put that in our pocket. Now, can I make anything different on this one that I couldn't make on the other one? No, it looks like it's the same stuff. So that's fine, but I want to see if I can make some of this tech mesh. I'm going to print out as much of this as I can. Print, 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 print. Print, 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 print. Thank you. Tech mesh. All right, I got about six or seven total now of those tech armor pieces. I haven't turned them into armor yet, but I've got a lot of them. I can start making some of the armor. All right, we got a save spot here, which is good. Oh, found him. This must have been the maintenance worker. He's dead now. Ugh. Oh, yeah, look, we got an outfit. Boots, tactical pants. Oh, okay, wait a minute. I'm wearing it. I don't want to wear this. I stick out like a sore thumb. It's the tuxedo. It's a white tuxedo. We are de definitely putting Kelvin in that. Sam Sunday pennant line. Never heard of this. I don't know if that's a real book or not. I'll look it up and see if there's any relation to what's going on in this island. But for now, I don't know what that is. Well, we got some more of those tech armor pieces. We got a little bit of lore. We found a new axe which I am so happy about. We got the hang glider today. Also found a can opener, finally. And I went over all the updated stuff, but most importantly, we got ourselves a key card, which I don't know what to do with yet. But I figure that's a great place to stop and hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like on it. And as always, it's been your boy lagging 24. And I will see you uh, next time.